This is Brian Jepson here, the January 2017 Providence Geeks, with Dan Berman of the Rhode Island Computer Museum. Dan, I didn't know we had a computer museum in Rhode Island. What's this all about? Well, Brian, we do have a computer museum in Rhode Island, and we're getting more active all the time. What we've really been extending ourselves on this time is our outreach program. So we've been doing workshops at various libraries, and we've opened a learning lab for our own selves in North Kingstown. So we'd like you to come by and play with our Atari computers and other things. Is it only Atari computers? No, we have many other computers, too. We have Commodores, Sinclairs, anything that you can imagine, we still have there. So, in the learning lab, you keep a certain number of computers that, that I would characterize as having a kinship with more modern small computers like the Arduino and the Raspberry Pi. Is that intentional? It is. We try to network our, our computers with old and new. The kids nowadays want to learn about the old computers, but they really want to play with the new computers. So we like to teach on the Arduinos and Raspberry Pis, but show them how it was to, to compute on the old TI-99 4As and the other programs. Well, that's, that's, I love that because that's, that's how I think. Um, so, you work with um, the uh, some of the young people that you bring in uh, are interns from from the med school, right? We do. We work with the med school, and the med school sends us their interns in their what they call their LTI program twice a week. LTI, LTI, which is learning learning through internships is their program, and we also have some volunteers from the University of Rhode Island. So the University of Rhode Island. Uh, we get some of their volunteers to help us teach the vet kids or other ones that come up. Now, I understand that somehow this started out as a, a car collector's club and turned into a computer's club. Is there a, an easy explanation for this? I'm not sure it's an easy explanation, but we see a real similarity between collecting cars uh, from our days when we were young to now when they collect computers and want to have the fastest, biggest raciest computer around. So back then, when we started, we said, let's collect something smaller than British cars. <laughs> Little do we know that 5,000 square feet in a warehouse later, we'd be collecting these monster old mainframe computers and mini computers that are the size of some of our British cars. Now, you've caught the attention of Hollywood and the television industry. What um, programs or movies that, that we might have heard of ha ha has your collection been featured in? Well, it's really funny because we started this a few years ago and it just caught fire for us. So the most recent one is Hidden Figures. And if you look at the oscilloscope in Hidden Figures, you'll see that that comes from the computer music. Wow. And the latest one that will be coming up this year is King Kong, and we've been playing a role in King Kong. That's fantastic. In the past, we've had Hawk Catch Fire, and they have been a favorite of ours, and they still continue to be a favorite. This is the last season for Hawk Catch Fire, but we hope something else will come of it, too. That's wonderful. What's next? What's the next big thing for the Rhode Island Computer Museum? Well, the next big thing is to expand our volunteer base. So we're always looking for people that are willing to help us. So if you know of anybody that wants to play with old computers, wants to teach computers, or even has some to donate, please let us know. So where, where should people go to find out more information about you? If you want to contact us, please go to our website, which is ricomputermuseum.org, and just drop us an email. We'd be happy to talk with you. Great. Thanks, Dan. Thank you so much for uh, welcoming Providence Geeks into 2017. Well, you're welcome.